先生，请给我这水吧。让我们培养聆听与陪伴嘅艺术。一名参与蛙艇比赛嘅青年喺汪洋嘅大海里面迷途啦，冇办法揾翻去回程嘅路线。然而，佢拎起咗船桨，开始好努力、好努力咁继续爬。经过数小时嘅乱闯，饱受住烈日嘅煎熬同埋缺水，佢开始冇气力啦。呢、这个年青人失去咗冲劲，倒卧喺自己嘅艇上面。大型嘅货柜船以及巨型嘅游轮，正以高速咁样喺海上面航行。年青人亦都叫喊水啊！打开声线，微弱到好难听得到。一艘游轮正要载住一班出名嘅医生同埋科学家经过，佢哋充满咗同情心同埋人道精神，向呢个青年人解释 H two O 嘅神奇之处，以及佢嘅身体每一日最需要最少两公升嘅食水噶。一名热心嘅牧者从一艘军舰落嚟。佢呢个年青人讲咗一篇道理，并表示佢嘅渴求系合理嘅。同时佢话佢咁渴求嘅水，应该令到佢系谂到一啲更加高尚、更加重要嘅事情。一个时髦开朗嘅男士从一艘游艇落嚟，攞咗一支烈酒，并好肯定咁样认为呢支烈酒比水更加好。毕竟佢哋都系俾大水所包围啊！佢哋每个人。都各自喺自己嘅船上面洗过，机动小船以及游艇都以高速咁样喺海上面航行。呢位年青人依然倒卧喺佢迷途嘅船上边，以微弱嘅声音话：水啊 ！Mi queridísima familia salesiana, como todos los años tengo esta oportunidad. My dear Salesian family members, like every year. I have the opportunity to address you all on the Strena. This year, a theme suggested to me by Pope Francis, who, for the Synod of Bishops, wanted the title "Youth, Faith, and Vocational Discernment." In the many trips of this year, I met thousands and thousands of young people from all over the world and from different cultures. In them, I was able to feel their desire to live, to grow, to be ready to give the best they have, and at the same time, I saw young people who felt insecure, who really needed us. They need adults who are able to walk with them. Of adults who naturally know how to take on their responsibilities, feel responsible for that path, and importantly, from that moment, feel they must be absolutely credible and be able to give testimony that is authentic. This is what this particular strena is about. In the life of us all, in each person, there is a place for each of us. In the life of us all, in each person, there are encounters that deeply touch our existence, our being. The same thing happened to the Samaritan woman, who finds herself by chance with Jesus, with the Lord. That encounter transforms her life. In fact, the Samaritan could be an authentic icon, a model of how we can meet and walk together in the path of life. Each meeting begins with understanding and listening. Jesus is a person who seeks the good of the other person, of his interlocutor. 
He creates a personal relationship and does not give a moral judgment of disapproval or reproach to the woman of Samaria. Instead of accusing, he speaks with her and makes proposals, and his language, his words, go straight to the heart of the person he speaks to. In a dialogue, especially in this case with the woman of Samaria, Jesus proceeds calmly, without haste, awakening in her little by little that interest in gaining access to a source of water for a special, different, better life. This interest in dialogue with Jesus is growing until she says, Lord, give me this water. Thus the Lord, an expert in humanity, accompanies people's journey, knows their interiority, understands their rhythms, their processes. The same thing happens with the young people in our time. As Pope Francis says, the Lord awakens a wonderful charm in many young people. And this has a lot to do with two elements, with faith and with the call that God makes to each of them, each boy or girl. A call that is an invitation to live the joy of the vocation in love. In el amor. Pero sabemos que esto no siempre es así. But we know that this is not always the case, and our young people do not always have the opportunity and the chance to be accompanied in this way. This reality challenges us and tells us what we can do as educators and evangelizers. There are many proposals that have emerged. I list only a few. We must continue to walk with young people, with families, with those who need to be accompanied, because the moment is favorable, because there are many young people who want to do something beautiful with their lives. They want to grow, they want to dream, they want to give the best of what they have. We must be able to accompany them, to let God himself work in them, to make them grow deep in their hearts, knowing that we are next to them, that we must not interfere, but we are ready to offer a testimony. As I have already said, that it is truly credible, an authentic testimony of faith and of great human, ethical and moral quality. As educators, my dear Salesian family present throughout the world, we cannot, as we've seen, allow the story to end. We must give other kinds of answers. It is something that comes naturally to us. Born of the essence of the Salesian charism, we have received from Don Bosco. Don Bosco? Don Bosco had some exceptional traveling companions. The great companion of his human and spiritual journey was his beloved mother, Mamma Margherita. We also know, and he himself tells us, of the significance of Father Calosso and his friend Luigi Comollo, and also Father Cafasso who accompanied him and prepared him for pastoral life. It was all this that allowed Don Bosco to have great wealth to share with his children.
Y es por eso... And this is why Don Bosco is a pastor and educator who is responsible for creating an educational environment that is attractive, full of educational proposals, beautiful human relationships. Don Bosco is a great spiritual companion for us. Don Bosco always tries to ensure that the climate of mutual knowledge, trust, friendship and spiritual paternity is found here, with his children, a consequence and the mature fruit of educational paternity. We must be able to accompany and give answers to those who have all this thirst and ask us for that water in such a way that we are able, with a Samaritan woman, to bring them closer to the encounter with Jesus. Su 最後一齊抵達一個安全的港口。And I end this year's strena by asking myself what the Samaritan woman would say if she took us by the hand and accompanied us to the encounter with Jesus after the experience she had. Nos invitaría a estar siempre abiertos al don que nos viene de Dios. She would invite us to be always open to the gift that comes from God. She would say to us, you must accompany each other. And just as one is able to learn from Jesus, to be more human, she would undoubtedly invite us to continue to grow in this experience of humanity. Mi querida familia salesiana, my dear Salesian family, my brothers and sisters, friends all, this simple presentation of this year's Trena ends here. That all this may lead us to say, from the depths of ourselves, even today, Lord, give me this water. See you soon.